It's January 9th, 2014 at the Ocotillo Wind Project. It's about uh, around 9 o'clock in the morning. Current local wind speeds are being reported around 5 miles per hour. Looking across the project, I don't see one wind turbine moving on the entire project. Once again, we're talking about 112 wind turbines completely stopped waiting for the wind. Um, at a uh, local town meeting here with Pattern Energy, at the early stages of this project being approved, Pattern Energy John Calloway started off the meeting by saying something along the lines of everybody wants to know why we are in Ocotillo. somewhere else and you know why do it here and uh, the answer is that the nature was put here high wind speeds were actually put here by nature it's something that we you know we did not invent that or create that uh, and we if you look at all of the Imperial County area there's really very little area in Imperial County that we consider to be actually viable or commercial for wind energy. And this map here that we have uh, was generated by the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, which is an independent, you know, technical group that looks at atmospheric conditions and maps out long-term atmospheric conditions uh, to measure how fast wind moves, uh, in, th in this particular case, at 50 meters uh, above the, the, the ground. And uh, on the bottom right-hand side of this, this map is, a, is a, a ledger that basically shows in color the wind speeds uh, based upon this research. Uh, and you can see the highest class of wind being class 7 and then dropping all the way down to class 1, which is in the, uh, you can kind of see yellow, light, light yellow if you've got good eyes. Uh, as you can see, almost all of Imperial County is absolutely no wind. And I don't think it's probably a gigantic surprise to people who live here in Akatia. If you drive over Del Centro, it's a very different wind, windy situation than it is here. And as a matter of fact, all, all along the freeways here, there are warning, warning signs about high winds. And I, you know, it's an interesting, you, you see it everywhere around here. And the reason is, it is very windy. And uh, so, uh, that's what, drew, that's what got us to be here, is number one, and the reason we're here is because of that. And, and through that process, you know, we're looking at how in the world do we build a project that can, that, that, that can actually, it is, absolutely, yeah. absolutely is. I, I'm with you, I'm with you, I agree with you, and, and I share that with you. The most beautiful desert in all of Bureau County. And, um, and so, uh, the... Uh, what, when you start to you look at this area on the bottom of the Ocotillo project, you can see the, the high wind speed. But it's interesting if you overlay, if I find it better, can I pull that up real quick, the, the map that shows the exclusion. I know I'm going to take a little bit away from our project manager who's going to show this to you. But if you overlay, this is in, in the gray color, all of the areas that are excluded, okay, due to either wilderness preservation, parks, uh, things that are off-limits, environmentally sensitive by, by the biologists, and you take that out, if the only area, the only area in all of Imperial County that is, has any commercial viability whatsoever just happens to be right there. Okay? As far as wind energy. As far as wind energy is concerned. It, that's, that, is, that is for real. Now, I'm not... I, you know, we can disagree about a lot of things, but as it relates to renewable energy and wind, that is a fact. Okay? And we have been out here measuring the wind, as you probably know, for the last year and a half, and have confirmed, okay, what we, these maps are showing. 
that the as the wind comes off of the mountains, it comes down on the slope of the desert, and as it hits as it hits the flat area, it starts to dissipate out, and, and it just it just goes away. I mean, it is just a fact. Honey, we live here. I know. know, and people and people who live here we certainly live here appreciate it because I've been out here at times where literally I have to stand like this. Be What's that going to do with the windmill? So, seventy miles an hour. So the and he said something along the lines of, the fact of the matter is, Ocotillo is the only place in Imperial County where the wind blows. He said the entire rest of uh, Imperial County, there's no wind. One of the uh, local residents out here that was at the meeting commented saying, well, if this project gets approved, who's to say that you guys aren't going to come back and put in more wind projects? And Mr. Callaway had said something along the lines of, you can't just put a wind project in anywhere. You have to have strong winds. Not just once in a while, but all the time. Well, if that's the case, why is this project here? Because we don't have strong winds all of the time. We have some strong winds once in a while. The same as San Diego, the same as they do down at the beaches. Are they going to put wind turbines in the middle of San Diego? Are they going to put wind turbines down at the beaches? just because there's strong winds once in a while. As you can see, this project right now, this $600 million wind project that has no wind is not powering one home at this moment. And all we heard was how this project was gonna supply enough power to power 100,000 homes. I'm sorry, but I'm not seeing it. Reporting from Ocotillo, on January 9th, 2014, with every wind turbine on the entire project completely stopped, waiting for the wind once again. Stay tuned.